Hi guys, how are you doing? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video, which is going to be a John Lewis and House of Fraser come shop with me. But first off, if you're new, hi, welcome. My name is Matt. Welcome to my channel. Please take a moment to subscribe if you love a come shop with me. You're too good to go back, grocery haul, haul, just general haul, um, all that kind of video. Definitely take a moment to subscribe. It's free, no cost to you. Just click that button down below and ring my bell to be notified of when I upload. But today's video is going to be a come shop with me today around John Lewis and House of Fraser. Now I was in Blue Water today. I've lit. I would say I'd literally come back, but it's probably been an hour or so since I've come back now, um, and it does take an hour and twenty minutes, hour and a half to get there. And especially when the bridge, Dartford Crossing Bridge, I had to stop on the bridge because they weren't letting cars through at one point, and I was like, "What is happening?" Like literally on the bit to go up to the bridge, and I was just like. If there's no way to get off, there's no way to do anything. I'm stuck here for the rest of my life if we don't get to move. But 10, 15, 10 minutes. I would say 10. It felt like an eternity. But 10 minutes later, we're on the move again. I don't know what's happening. They weren't letting anyone through. Maybe there was a crash. I don't know. I know if there was a crash, I hope they're okay. Or it was just too windy. That was like my thoughts. Is it too windy to go on the bridge? And they're going to tell people, like, you can't go. You have to wait here. And we could have been waiting there all day. But anyway, I went to Blue Water, basically. That was me telling you I went to Blue Water um, to go. One, the main reason was to go in Bath and Body Works because they've got an actual store there, which I'll leave the Come Shop With Me link up there and all for that up the top for you to go check out. But while I was there, they've got a big house of phrase and they've got a big big John Lewis so I wanted to go have a look to see what they've got in those stores because House of Fraser near me is small however it's got some good stuff in it these days um and John Lewis is all right near me really um so I wanted to have a look to see what they've got in especially in the sale stuff because House of Fraser online has a good sale um and John Lewis can have a good sale as well um so without further ado let's have a look around the men's sections in House of Fraser and John Lewis in Blue Water to see what's new in and in for the sale here we go into House of Fraser at Blue Water um I actually had to go down the escalators even though <laughs> I went into the floor on the upper mall um, because the menswear is located on the ground floor um, and they've got quite a few brands in here. So they've got Calvin Klein, but we're beelining to Fred Perry because I can see it in the distance because um, I love a bit of Fred Perry to see what they've got. They did have some sale stuff, but not too much, to be honest, of the Fred Perry. Um, a lot of it wasn't on sale, um, which... They do do a sale on the actual Fred Perry website and things, but like uh, this was in the sale, for example, £88 still for that hoodie. Um, I think it was 110 originally. That wasn't on sale, though. That's a nice sweatshirt. Um, and, like, I saw this cardigan because I actually got a cardigan in a charity shop with Fred Perry one for, like, £2.75 or something. Um, this was 100 and that was reduced from 125 So... Worth checking out a charity shop as well to see if you can get some good bargains in there because I love a charity shop for looking at Fred Perry and things because I've got quite a few bits of Fred Perry. That was a really nice polo shirt with those like orangey, pinky coloured accents actually. But I, I love a charity shop to look for a Fred Perry. They've got um, Lyle and Scott in here, which I think a brand has been a bit. I don't know, in my views it diminished a bit because it's now in like Sports Direct and I know we're in practically Sports Direct and stuff um, but it used to be like one that you could only get in like select places Michael Kors they have as well, I would say the Michael Kors prices here are a bit more expensive than you would get in the outlet I think this t-shirt would be cheaper than the 35 I think from what I can remember um, at Bista Village anyway um, and you can get Michael Kors and stuff in um, TK Maxx um, so how much was this? That was quite a bit expensive as well. Gantz in here, PS by Paul Smith, Tommy Jeans, Tommy Hilfiger, all the usual suspects of the brand, £70 for that jumper. Um, and I, this, I love this. And they've got a dupe of this in, um, in the, in River Island in the sale but that is lovely i love that we've got our money exchange as well um we've got hugo boss um diesel all different brands um that you can think of the normal suspects in the stores all saints um i do love a bit of all saints um i don't think they had too much in the sale here i don't think that was on sale for example 49 pound for that t-shirt um and this bag i quite liked although not the price um very like for what it is it's just a tote and it was that price so there we go and this jumper i actually really liked as well love the design on that um and they've got tommy hilfiger like this kind of monogram style in here as well and they've got a big 
Ralph Lauren section really big actually I feel like that would be bigger than the actual store in um, Blue Water in terms of the men's section I think I didn't actually go in the Ralph Lauren store but I feel like it would give you much more choice here and I do like looking at the shoes now as well they had some Fred Perry ones these were quite reasonably priced actually um, and they also had Ralph Lauren trainers which is my new obsession I love looking at those because you can get them on really good prices and stuff um, that one yeah so a lot of them were reduced as well really classic styles I think you and you can get them at really good prices so definitely worth having a look um, for those in your House of Fraser and places like that. But next, let's go in John Lewis to see what they've got in there. Menswear's on the upper, like the top floor. And we've got Ralph Lauren, obviously, usual suspect in here. Um, got some V-neck jumpers. I couldn't find the price on that one. Um, it's probably on the tag that I did not see. Um, and they've got All Saints in here as well, as well as Reese. They didn't have um, Reese in um, House of Fraser but they've got they had All Saints and they have an All Saints store as well as well as a Reese store um, really like this coat really nice long line coat as well um, it's still quite pricey though I don't think that was in the sale there are only a few bits in the sale really um, oh, was this in the sale yes it was 61 I think that was for that shirt um, and then like a jumper here for 71 as well um, yeah so quite nice pieces let's have a look at Reese um they had a re quite a good sale in Reese as well um like this I thought was reasonably priced well for Reese anyway and this really like this I don't think this was in the sale really nice jacket there as well really like that um unfortunately I don't think that's in the sale and none of these bits were either um I did see this I think this is Levi's in the sale quite nice a weird pocket thing at the front and this um, denim jacket had a really nice inside look at that lovely that be, should be on the outside really Tommy Hilfiger wise um puffer jackets on here with say in the sale so quite good um and then your usual bits really from Tommy Hilfiger and Tommy Jeans and this is how much is a hoodie in there which you can get cheaper in Bista Village so that was House of Fraser and John Lewis so I would say what am I going to say House of Fraser has a lot of stuff in it for the men's. I think the men's section in House of Fraser is a lot bigger than the one in John Lewis. Actually, it is a lot bigger. And the brands they stock, they have a lot more brands in there. Like you've got, they have Bell stuff in there. They had Alexander McQueen. Well, McQueen, MCQ, which is like the Alexander McQueen Diffusion brand. They have all your usual suspects like Tommy Hilfiger, um... Calvin Klein all that kind of stuff they had Farrah Fred Perry we love the Fred Perry moment um Lacoste and stuff like that um whereas John Lewis does not have like that but they have All Saints um which they have an All Saints store there a lot of the stuff that is in these stores is repeated throughout the mall really at Blue, Blue Water like they have a Tommy Hilfiger store they have a Calvin Klein store they have a Reese store they have um Fred Perry store, All Saints store. So a lot of it is repeated. Um, so you can just go in there. And I know when I was in, I went in the actual Tommy Hilfiger store afterwards to see, just have a look. And they were saying, oh, if it's not in this one, you could go to House of Fraser or you could go to John Lewis to have a look to see if it's in there. So they're like three places where you can buy Tommy Hilfiger stuff, if not more, probably, because JD, I think, sells some of it, and JD, JD sell, like, Fred Perry stuff as well, so you could go there, but yeah, so is it, is, is this a question, is the department store kind of redundant if the store is going to have their, like, own brand? I know they can carry different stock, and I know they can carry at better prices on some of the stock as well, and we did have a look at, um, in House of Fraser, because my new obsession is, like, Ralph Lauren trainers, um, which I've got now two pairs of, which, um, I've got a good prices one at the outlet in Vista, which I'll leave the last come shop with me to that up at the top when I went at 7am in the morning on the day after Boxing Day. Um, was that the day after Boxing Day? Yes, it was. Um, and yeah, they've got a pair of Ralph Lauren store at um, Blue Water as well. So there's like four places, three places to buy that. So lots of choice in terms of stuff and they had some of the trainers on sale at the Polo Ralph Lauren ones in House of Fraser. However, they weren't as good prices as the one I've got in Vista and ones that I got previously on a trip, on a trip, online, trip online to House of Fraser online. But yes, let me know your thoughts on House of Fraser and 
um, John Lewis down below. Have you bought anything in the sales in there recently? Have you picked anything up? Let me know down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Um, and yeah, are you going to be going in one or online to have a look at the sales stuff as well? If you're not already, please take a moment to subscribe. It's free. There's no cost to you for doing so. Just click that button down below and ring my bell to be notified when I upload. If you'd love to come shop with me, haul, too good to go back grocery haul, that kind of video. And also follow my Instagrams, which are always linked down below. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I shall see you in the next one. Bye.